Shattered in six seconds, some people protesting the police shooting death of Steve Perkins appear to be planning another traffic disruption in Decatur. Protesters pushed the idea on social media after Decatur police made several arrests over a similar protest last week. Way 31's Paige Meyer joins us live now in Decatur with the latest on that. Paige. Dan, the Justice Steve Perkins Facebook page posted today that they're planning a protest for tomorrow on the Hudson Memorial Bridge in Decatur. Now, that's the same bridge that protesters blocked just last week. So far, I've been able to confirm that six people have turned themselves into the Morgan County Jail on disorderly conduct charges for their part in that protest. A Perkins protest organizer who works directly with the Perkins family told me that bridge protests, both of those bridge protests, have no connection to the Perkins family. He says the official movement for Steve Perkins does not not condone what happened on the Hudson Bridge, but says at this point, any publicity is good publicity. Decatur is a small city, and if we as the whole city and community have to come together as one in order to make a loud noise so someone in New York can hear about Steve Perkins, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it until we get justice. Decatur PD has not commented about tomorrow's protest. However, Decatur PD posted on Facebook that arrests should be expected when certain actions of, of violators include vandalism, violence, or impeding roadways that could impact providing basic public safety. Now, the Decatur Mayor Tab Bowling says that the city is working on holding a news conference tomorrow to talk about the Perkins investigation and the protests. Details on this press conference are still being finalized. Now, I also reached out to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency today to see if there are any updates on the Perkins investigation. However, there are not any updates at this time. Reporting live in Decatur, Paige Meyer, Wave 31 News.